Hello everyone. There is my desktop keyboard. The problem with it is one of my friend he dropped some soft drinks. It could be Coca-Cola or something else. So now few buttons as you can see this one it gets stuck and when I type zero lots of zero comes at the same time because of this is stuck okay even the space button as you can see here yeah, it doesn't come up straight away like the Z button see how faster but this one and couple of other one is totally stuck so I use some kinds of um, I mean, alcohol cleaner but it didn't work because you know obviously when I spray in here it just gone through straight so actual wire isn't gone through so that's the reason why uh, we're gonna fix it okay so as you can see this is stuck all right this is kind of annoying as you can see when I type single times a lot of Z or the letter comes up okay so we need two kinds of cleaner one could be this one this is called PCB cleaner which is for the motherboard and stuff okay so this is safe nothing gonna be short-circuited okay so let's open it up and see how we can fix it so first we're gonna unplug it okay okay so this is unplugged now most of the Chinese cheap keyboard that doesn't comes with the screw that is a problem but if you have branded one like this Lenovo it came with Lenovo all in one PC sorry the item number is not here but we have part number anyway so this keyboard secured with loads of screws okay and we need to take out all of them so what I need is first of all I need screwdriver one all of them same size so don't worry about organizing it There is no more screws as you can see all of them already been removed but you'll be surprised once you know still there are more screws underneath the pad okay okay as you can see yeah the good one is they make it complicated because they don't want to let people to fix their stuff you know? okay. so you The tweezer is much better and easier when you use finger that has it a weaker. Yeah. Okay, so I believe that way. Yeah. So once it's done, then you can just take out the back panel like this. And then obviously there is a metal plate to keep it on place, secure, you know point to point and might be your one secured with kind of plastic rabbit which is that one okay but I already cut it okay I just use like plier and cut it and then take out the metal plate okay it does two job first of all keep it cool anyway the keyboard doesn't get hot we know that but this one keep it firm and on place to the actual pad okay so now this is the one okay this one this uh, panel it screw with the actual motherboard with th three different screws okay and this one keep the shoulder connected so good thing with the branded item imagine if that was like kind of cheap Chinese one what that was going to do I will show you okay and that's why most of the Chinese cheap stuff is not fixable or it is but it's very difficult to get access into fixing I'll show you how as an example okay keep it like that the screws are different okay as you can see there are some cables right flex cable so this one goes connected to the actual motherboard without soldering it so if you buy the cheap one might be your one soldered in here so it's very difficult to remove okay so take it out with the soft pad keypad all right fine don't let it get dusty 
Now, how did you find out how many buttons are not working properly? I will show you. As you can see, you can you can get the sound, right? Look. Okay. The sound seems like those buttons are free. But as you can see, one, two, three, four. As you can see, okay. Example, as you can see, all of them flat, except put it on the top, please. You don't need from the side. As you can see, the five buttons, they are still upright. The reason is they are stuck with kind of sugary glue. Okay, so we need to fix all those buttons. So how we would fix it is very simple. Eight, number eight. Okay. So now there are two process that I can apply one of them is seven okay that's fine yeah this is as you can see this is very stiff it doesn't go easily so what I'm gonna do so this one secured with two kinds of hooks I taken out and I can see there is kinds of kinds of liquid I don't know if you can see or not yeah see it's a greasy that is uh, the extract of the coca-cola so i'm going to clean it that's the reason why it is very very difficult to move okay so i can use kind of small brush or might be cotton bud should be very ideal so i'm going to take out some cotton buds spray into it Still, it's like it's not cleaning properly. It's really bad Coca Cola. Okay, some stuff already came out. Okay, now we need to double check. Yeah, as you can see here. So we can spray into it, or you can wash the complete thing, you know. You can wash with fairy liquid, it would be much better, I believe. My god, imagine. Yeah. I'm gonna take out all of them. So still, we need to fix these four buttons, right? Let's open it up. One. One. Two. Let me check another two. Yeah, these two as well. Okay. Now, another problem with this... Uh, yeah. Let me check with the space bar. That's fine. Okay, I can see only one. Okay, still two more buttons, which is the arrow. I'm gonna take it out too. Yeah, these two buttons as well. But it's really good idea to take a picture of them, also not good. I'm gonna fix these two as well. Yeah, rest everything is fine. Okay, don't forget about this sort of spring should be here. Okay, so now my main job is wash all of those because these are kind of greasy, you know. Yeah, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna soak into the fairy liquid, and I believe that would be even much better. So I do kind of. 
uh, some fairy liquid. I already mixed uh, some fairy liquid with the water. So I'm going to spray into it. At the same time, I want to clean this food. Let's spray into here. And if you have got a toothbrush, it would be better. In case there is anything stuck. Mostly the edges. Maybe a little bit skinny, but much better. Turn it around and double check. Okay. That's fine. We're gonna dry it before we put the motherboard in. Okay. And now this is the time to clean all those buttons one by one. Okay, so one of them clean. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem, I believe. Now we're going to wipe it with the tissue paper or stones if we have. Okay. Now this is the time to put back to all your uh, buttons in there. Let's check. Yeah. One more second. Yeah, rest open up. Okay. Pick up any hair dryer, that would be the best idea to keep it dry. One second. Just blow the cold here, you don't need to worry about the temperature. Kind of puzzle, so now we need to find out the number eight first. Okay, yeah, that's the one goes in first. Okay, it's very simple, you need to, it depends on your keyboard anyway. I'm gonna push it back, and it seems it's free now. Okay, so this is fixed K and L. So we need to find first these two buttons J, then comes K, and then L. Let's see, yeah, it's free. Okay, so let's say, example, you if I forget the pattern, as I told you first, it's better to take a photograph so you can open it up, zoom it, and you can make it bigger, okay? So by the time anyway, I already open up so it doesn't help. Okay, let me put this back first. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. Brilliant, and then so this is going to be I. Gonna be all. Yeah. Fine. The same all the screws. Let me check the P. P button is okay to this step. No, it's fine. Okay, so it's all done. The screws are. I mean, the buttons are working fine. Okay. So now we'll reassemble it. One second.
Yeah, this is free anyway, so it's fine. <coughs> yeah. Okay, once you've done that, then the next one will be the... Alright, so now we're going to put the soft pad in here. Okay. There is no way to make a mistake because of the pattern of the keyboard. Thank you so much. Nope. Okay, so the soft pad is on place. That is very important because if you make a mistake, then you can't use anymore. Okay. Yeah. So now this panel. So now, this is the time to put back the metal frame on it, okay? Okay, because that is very important. If it's not on place, and complete keyboard wouldn't work. Yeah. So now, I'm going to put back all the screws in here. Three of them. Everything is on place, nice and clean. Now the metal plate. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this is the time to put back the back frame on it. One screw first. So now we're going to connect and see if every single button does work or not. One second. Okay, so now we're going to type A to Z to find out if everything is okay or not. And go to new. New text document. Let's type it. So I'm going to put the rubber pen back. Okay, one, Alright, so we've assembled the keyboard already. So what are you going to do? We're going to test the keyboard if that is fine. As you can see all the patterns, it looks like all of them in the right position. So let's open up a text file and type something, okay? So I'm going to open Microsoft Office Word. Then you can see if I make the... Sorry, sorry not that one. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to type a brown fox jumps quickly over crazy dog. So that's the actual A to Z. All the letters already came up. Now we're going to test the numeric one, which is enter 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Shift is working here. Zero is working. One capital letter working. So it's brilliant. Okay, we'll up and down. Everything is okay. So that's the way how you're going to fix your desktop keyboard. 
if you spillage any water or any kinds of drinks okay and but with laptop it doesn't work because obviously uh, you know it's very sensitive get water damage most of the time but desktop computer is really good even with the water spillage um, uh, it doesn't make any short circuit it, okay so open it up take out the part one by one find out why it's stuck with sugary kinds of liquid or not use the favorite liquid or might be this one it depends on what kind of damage it is so i hope guys you like the video and if you did like it please uh, hit the like button and if you do subscribe you can get more future videos thank you so much for your support and bye for now